Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Today's video is a bit urgent and I am hoping that this information is reaching you in time. The night I was recording yesterday's video, I learned that Epic Games is removing the Unreal Tournament games from GOG on December 23rd, which is today. I saw this screenshot on Discord which really surprised me. Before I continue though, if you don't have any of the Unreal Tournament games and want to buy them, pause this video right now and go buy them on GOG while they're still there. I don't know what time they're being removed from the store, so I wouldn't wait if I were you. Back to the story. I went to GOG to buy the games because, while I'm not a fan of the Unreal Tournament games and I haven't played them before, I'm aware of how influential the games are. When I went to the page for one of the games, I saw this notification that stated, Epic is turning off online services and servers for some older games. Read more here. Upon clicking this link, it led me to the statement by Epic. As you can see, I was very late to the party since it was posted on December 14th. Starting today, we will begin turning off out-of-date online services and servers for many older games in the Epic family as we move to solely support Epic Online Services with its unified friend system, voice chat features, parental controls, and parental verification features. Most titles will be playable offline while some will no longer be playable. We apologize to the players affected by these changes. The following titles will have all online services disabled on January 24th after which players can continue playing single or local multiplayer modes offline. They then list a bunch of games which I will show on the screen. Among the titles are the Unreal Tournament games. Following this list is this tragic sentence. We have started removing games that were still available from all digital storefronts and are disabling any in-game DLC purchasing as of today. This is the confusing part. Why are these games being removed? I don't like that the online services are being removed, but I can at least find that more palatable than removing the games altogether. And again, why would you remove the games? They can still work offline. They have single player content, and I would think that LAN connections would be possible. But the greatest offense here is that Unreal Tournament is being wiped off everywhere. The game that helped make Epic Games the company that it is today. This is the game that Epic's game engine is named after. And again, I'm not an Unreal Tournament fan. I was too young for this when it came out, and I wasn't a PC gamer at that point either. But I am aware of the impact this game had in the PC community. This is up there with the likes of Quake, Doom, and Wolfenstein. To have these games be deleted from every storefront is a tragedy. Of course, the games will live on through torrents and pirate sites. Heck, I'm sure people will be sharing the crap out of the game since GLG sells them DRM free. But reducing them to abandonware is not a fitting legacy. I don't think any game should become abandonware, but these games definitely do not deserve that. For all Tim Sweeney's lip service of fighting for the right cause, he's done more harm than good. He can say what he wants about Apple and Google, and he can say that Steam is not a good storefront to sell games, but with him wiping out the company's original game from every official storefront including GOG, good old games, the preserver of retro PC games, he's not any more innocent than the projections he makes of the other companies. But that's all I gotta say though, it's really a sad day for PC gaming. Again, get the games while you can if you want to. I know I said I was going to have a cheerful video for you all, but unfortunately this was pretty urgent. I'll try to make that video next week. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, I appreciate it, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, and I hope you really enjoy your weekend. So until next time everyone, I am Zerikhan signing off, have a good one.